Hi, my name is Dr. Deborah Durham, and I'm running an Indiegogo campaign for a project called Camp for Chimps. It's the Compassion in Action Mushroom Project for Chimps. Chimps, like this chimp from Uganda. And I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the campaign because I really hope that smart, compassionate people like you will become part of the project through your support. And so here goes. There's a few things I want to tell you about CAMP. One, CAMP is a project that is being run in conjunction with the Chimpanzee Sanctuary and Wildlife Conservation Trust, which is an NGO in Uganda. CAMP is one of their programs, and I'm a partner who's trying to help them get it off the ground. CS and WCT is an awesome organization. In addition to running in Gamba Island Chimpanzee Sanctuary, they do a lot of conservation work on the ground, and they also work with communities to help reduce human wildlife conflict. The second thing I want to tell you about CAMP is that CAMP is part of the programs to reduce human wildlife conflict. Here's a little bit that you might want to know about human wildlife conflict in Uganda, especially where it affects chimpanzees. Where people live close to chimpanzee habitat, there can sometimes be conflict. Now this might be difficult to understand because we don't have chimpanzees in our backyard, but just imagine a situation where you and your neighbors don't always see eye to eye. This can be the same way uh, for human wildlife conflict. For example, uh, sometimes chimpanzees can uh, raid crops or sometimes people want to use chimpanzee habitat for their own purposes. And chimps don't really like this. It doesn't work for them, right? Habitat destruction, habitat degradation, or sometimes going into the forest to do things that cause other kinds of conflict with chimpanzees. For example, taking things out of the forest, and usually the biggest problem is what goes into the forest, and that happens to be snares. And a lot of times snares, which aren't set for chimpanzees, can trap a chimpanzee and really injure them or sometimes even lead to their demise. So CAMP is part of uh, larger programs to reduce human wildlife conflict. The third thing I want to tell you about CAMP is that CAMP focuses on alternative sustainable livelihoods. And this is where the Mushroom Project part of camp comes in. So to give people ways of earning money that don't involve destroying habitat, disturbing habitat, or going into the forest to engage in activities that might cause conflict, or expanding um, uh, land clearing for other forms of agriculture, he'd like to try something brand new, totally new, mushroom farming. Why mushroom farming? Well, there's a couple of reasons, but the most important, or one of the most important, is that mushroom farming has a small footprint. Mushroom sheds can grow a lot of food vertically. So the sheds uh, take up roughly a meter or so on the ground and several trays full of mu growing mushrooms are inside the shed. So instead of clearing more and more land to grow more and more food, Camp is taking farming upwards with mushrooms. A fourth thing I'd like to tell you about camp is that mushrooms are super healthy. So maize is pretty common in Uganda or corn. We all know corn is kind of a crap food really. Not only does it take a ton of land and a ton of water, not really that nutritious. Mushrooms on the other hand are nutritious. And I'll post more on the camp website about the nutritional value of mushrooms. A fifth thing that I want to tell you about camp is that camp is really green. So not only does it leave the forest intact, yay, um, it also has a really small footprint. These are shade grown. As you know, mushrooms like the shade, mushrooms like um, the wet. And so in the forest habitats where chimpanzees live, also a pretty awesome place to be a mushroom. And so shade grown, these have a small physical footprint and a relatively small water footprint. 
because uh, forests in Uganda get quite a bit of quite a bit of rain. And so uh, the technology that we'll be using to grow mushrooms has a small footprint. And so it's a really green project. This isn't land clearing with a bunch of rice or other uh, crops. And so it's a green project. And a final thing I want to tell you about camp and why I love camp is that in addition to being a scientist, I'm totally committed to a life of compassion. And that means that I want solutions that are win, win, win. And camp is just that. We're not trading the lives of one animal for another or asking chimps to pay the price for people or for people to lose out here. We've got everybody winning. And so camp gets a big A plus from me for being a compassionate project. So we've got an alternative sustainable livelihood program that focuses on a green technique that will empower local people to have a sustainable source of income, reduce human wildlife conflict with the chimps, provide nutritious food, and I also want to let you know that camp focuses on women. A lot of research shows that when uh, integrated conservation development programs focus on the livelihoods of women, that uh, the benefits reach further. Women who have micro businesses tend to use that money to support their children, to support their families, and to support their communities. And some of the uh, employment opportunities and educational opportunities for women are limited in Uganda. I'll be honest about that. And so, uh, this is something they can do while they stay close to home. It doesn't require a lot of manual labor and it doesn't require advanced education or any specialized vocational skills. The, the little boost that they need to learn how to grow and take care of mushrooms, how to preserve them and how to sell them, is what camp is on the ground to do. So if you would like to support camp, for one or all of these reasons, whether you love chimpanzees or like me, you think mushrooms are delicious, or you're a compassionate person who cares about all of these things, I'd love to have your support for camp. So click below to like this video and head on over to the Indiegogo page to make your contribution. You can also uh, share this with your friends and family, your coworkers, and help us get the word out. I really appreciate all of uh, your time today and the things that you do to help animals and the earth. And I hope you'll become part of the camp project and become a camper. Thanks very much.